Good morning, everyone. This is Jonathan with the National Weather Service here in Norman with a weather briefing regarding severe weather chances for Tuesday through Thursday. Okay, first and foremost, yes, severe weather is likely. But the most important thing that I can tell you right now is to not be scared, but to be prepared. And part of this briefing, we're going to tell you where to go to find information on how to keep yourself and your family safe and how to be prepared for severe weather. The most important thing you can do right now is take this Monday to get prepared for the next couple days. Now, there's severe storm chances that are going to occur basically every day from Tuesday, Wednesday, and through the early part of Thursday. Large hail and damaging winds are going to be the primary hazards. Uh, tornadoes are going to be possible, but they're not the primary hazard at the moment. And right now, the best chance for tornadoes looks to be on Wednesday, but we're going to learn more as we go through. This is still an early forecast, and it's really hard for us to tell exactly what's going to happen until about 18 to 12 hours out from an event. We start to get a better idea of, the, of more specific um, information regarding severe weather. Okay, so what can you do now? This is the first thing I want to hit. The most important thing you can do is have a plan. Now you're probably asking yourself right now, well, how do I make a plan? What should be in my plan? Well, we're gonna put a link below this video in the information section, and I want you to go ahead and click on that link, and I'm gonna pop the link up here on the screen as well, and you can click on it now if you'd like to. It's gonna take you to a page that has a plethora, a plethora of information regarding severe weather, uh, and how you can keep your family, your business, and yourself safe. And today's a great day to sit down, last minute here, to make sure you have all your information together because the most important thing you can do is just be prepared. That's all we can tell people. Shelter in place and be prepared. So know the terms. So this would be the forecast section. You know, we're days out from the event. This is the forecast. Forecast give you, you get information days out ahead of time. The, when a watch is issued, you have hours. A watch is issued only hours and sometimes only an hour before severe weather starts to occur. And sometimes a watch is issued once storms have already started to fire. When you hear that you have a warning, a warning means minutes. So always remember, the forecast is days, the watch is hours, and the warnings are minutes. Okay, for the rest of today, uh, you probably woke up to a little bit of thunder and lightning across part of the state, mainly along and uh, east of the I-35 corridor there. We'll have some light showers move out today. We're not expecting any severe weather for the rest of today, but uh, you might have a few brief showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder. But for the most part, it's, it's coming to an end and it's shifting off to the east now. Now, as we get into tomorrow, the best timing for uh, any severe thunderstorms are going to be 4 to 9 p.m. So we'll probably have some storms start in the morning. We basically have uh, a warm front is going to stall out along the Red River, and it's going to lift back north during the morning hours tomorrow. And when it does that, a dry line is going to form out across western Oklahoma, and then it's going to slowly kind of push eastward through the day. And so the best, the best area for severe weather right now looks to be across southern Oklahoma and western north Texas. Now, Granted, most of these storms are just going to be strong. We're not looking at any type of widespread severe weather right now, but the strongest storms and the severe storms are going to be possible, are going to be potential, are going to have the potential of producing tennis ball to baseball size hail and wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour. So if you have plans tomorrow to be driving, driving down the I-44 corridor, I corridor or even the I-35 corridor down to Texas, or if you're coming north from Texas up into the Oklahoma City metro, you need to be aware that between 4 and 9 p.m. tomorrow afternoon would be a, would be a, very, um, would be a terrible time to be driving along those two interstate corridors. Uh, at that point, you might want to postpone your trip to the later part of the week. So if you can travel before, you know, in the morning hours, you can. You'll probably be dealing with a little bit of rain, maybe some thunder and lightning. But the strongest storms are going to happen during the late afternoon, early evening hours. Now, if we get into Wednesday, we, this is probably our, more, our biggest chance for severe weather is going to occur on Wednesday. Right now, the area for most likely to see significant severe weather is unfortunately going to be across the central part of the state. Our potential timing right now for storms is anywhere from between 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. So kind of that, again, that late afternoon, evening hours type of time frame. At the moment, uh, basically, a upper level system is going to be passing to our north. And when it does, it's going to push another dry line. And that dry line is going to surge a little bit farther to the east. And then when it pushes into our area, we're going to have decent moisture, good instability for, uh, for, for storms to develop. The strongest of these storms are going to produce baseball or are going to have the potential to produce baseball sized hail and wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour. Now, tornadoes are going to be possible with these storms, but they are not the primary hazard. So the most important thing to remember right now is that our, our biggest hazards are going to be large hail and damaging winds, which can do just as much damage as, as a small tornado. But 
you know, just stay tuned right now and we'll keep you, we'll keep you posted. And as we, as we learn more information, you'll be the first to know. So now if we go into Thursday, really they're going to only linger through the early morning hours. Basically any kind of remnants we get from Wednesday are going to linger through the morning hours of Thursday. Large hail and damaging winds will be the main hazards. Not really expecting any tornadoes or anything like that. Just the hail and winds. And that potential is going to be well east of the I-35 corridor and basically pushing across the eastern part of the state by Thursday morning. So could see some storms lingering Thursday morning. A um, little bit of a hazard, maybe some large hail and some damaging winds, but that would be about it for right now. All right, in summary, as I said before, yes, severe weather is likely, uh, but we don't want anyone to be scared. We just want you to be prepared. The more knowledge you have, the more prepared you are, the less scary severe weather can be. And once again, the link for severe weather information of how to keep your family and your business and yourself safe uh, will be in the comment section below the video here, or not in the comment section, but in the actual uh, information box. Severe storm chances Tuesday through Wednesday. Large hail and damaging winds are the primary hazards for these storms. Tornadoes are possible, but they're not the primary threat at the moment. We're gonna, we'll learn more as we get closer to the event. We'll learn more as we get closer to Wednesday exactly what our, what our tornado potential is. But for the most part, I, we want to focus on large hail and damaging winds. Those are going to be our, our primary hazards. Okay, in closing, I just want to thank you all again for logging on and watching this video briefing. Remember, for the latest forecast information and information regarding watches and warnings, the best place to go is always our webpage, and that's at weather.gov forward slash Norman. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you again, and have a great Monday and a great rest of your week.